Our latest sporting heroine is a woman who has rowed her way across the Atlantic. It's taken Deborah three and a half months to row from Tenerife to Barbados. She started her journey with her husband, but continued on her own when he pulled out after only two weeks. My Atlantic rowing story, the reason I suppose inevitably I ended up sitting on this board, was because that rowing story was a, a gender discrimination headline. You know, that probably wouldn't have even made our local paper, that news story, had it been me that had got off and Andrew who'd carried on alone. But I'm absolutely convinced that a number of small changes in a large organisation of 24,000 people like this could lead to a chain reaction that could cause a really big splash. So I, I kind of went along bravely knowing I was going to be the only woman on this board. And I walked up to the first one to introduce myself he handed me his wine glass and turned away. He thought I was a waitress. This was not a discriminatory action. It wasn't done on purpose. It was entirely unconscious. And what's tragic is that often we don't even know we're doing it. And we certainly don't mean to do it. It's unconscious bias. It's raising up an awareness in every single employee of unconscious bias. A conversation I'm often having with people is one where they ask me, wow, you know, how, how do you manage to, to travel so much alongside family life and who looks after the children when you're away? I've never once seen a man be asked that question. It will be difficult, of course, because society tells us not to make a fuss and as Howard said, this is outside of our comfort zone to talk about this stuff even, let alone to take some kind of action about it. But if we don't speak up, then our silence sounds like acceptance, just like it did when I didn't speak up at the start of the Atlantic rowing race. So let's give this another try. Accepting that this journey, a chain reaction to make a big splash in diversity, is not gonna be easy. We just have to approach it in a new way. We have to be prepared just to think a little bit different. We have to be prepared to try something new. Because if we don't, if we always do what we've always done, we'll always get what we've always got.